not having a good day. Not having a good day. Need to put some music on for this bitch. One bad thing about dropping the weight is you have to clean it up on the next set. It's not that heavy. Thumbs up if you like. Make them suffer. Aussie metal. You know you like that. Whoops, hit the light. Whoopsie daisy. Nah. Oh, my overhead press is so weak. I really need to fucking work on that. That's pathetic. That's only 55 kilos. Just three sets of five on this. Nothing too spectacular. My front delt gets a lot of work with all my pushing that I do on chest day and plus at school. Rugby, they make us do push ups and all sorts of shit. So. Low volume on this, and then I'll go high volume or bodybuilding stuff for the accessory movements. Good tip if you're struggling in any rep, whether it be shoulder press or anything where you've got a grip, if you start to stall, Try your hardest to squeeze the bar as tight as you can. You'll get a, uh, I think it's called hyper irradiation, hyper, hyper irradiation, something like that. Helps turn on more muscles to finish the rep. Some little tip there. Here we go.
Ah! Next time. Four sets of eight to ten on these lateral raises. If you happen to want to follow the workout, I think it's effective. The proof is in the pudding. Last set, last set, best set, channeling in my inner Steve Cook. Now for rear delt raises. Really don't need much weight with these like at all. It's a tiny muscle, it's gonna get stimulated if you do it right. Um, I actually just do this rear delt because I have a weird muscle imbalance where this one is just really overdeveloped. It also stops this lat from turning on as good. But then on this side I've got the opposite where this lap turns on really good and this rear delt doesn't turn on. So I've got to do some stretching and foam rolling consistently to fix that, but I've been lazy with that. So for now, I'm, I'm literally just going to do a couple sets with just this side. Using a piddly 1.25 kilo weight, nothing much to it. Just trying to turn it on. And what that's actually called, what I was talking about before, is um, tonic and phasic muscles. So in this, tonic muscles are just muscles that are overworked. So the nervous system knows how to recruit them quicker. Because the, I don't have much time to explain it, but the body always wants to use the least amount of energy to do a task. So if you, you're doing a pull up and it requires less energy to turn on your rear delt than it does to turn on the lat, it's gonna turn on the rear delt just that simple. And phasic muscles are kind of like, or not really phasic, I guess you could say that these muscles have motor sensory amnesia. So this rear delt and this lat, that's just when the nervous system pretty much forgets that the muscle's there. So you got to retrain it. Um, it's getting better, but it's not where I want it to be. But you know, little by little, each time I each time I train shoulders, this, this, this bad boy picks up. And it's not for aesthetic reasons. I mean, it is for aesthetic reasons, but it affects all sorts of things. It affects my posture, like my shoulders are forward, which, you know, my hips turn forward, and it's just a mess. Um, yeah, make sure you're stretching, honestly. I, I can't even express it enough. Your posture will benefit your lift so much. All right, enough talking shit. I'm gonna turn that down and talk some more. Alrighty. Another thing, sorry to be talking so much, but another thing that's happening is this, the front delt on my right side is overactive, which, and tight, which restricts my ability to actually um, retract my shoulder girdle. Whatever that movement is called to actually turn on the rear delt so it's a matter of turning off this muscle turning off this muscle turning on this muscle 
in terms of this rear delt, and then for this lat, it's turning off this rear delt and a whole bunch of weird shit I'm still trying to figure out. But if you notice that, I would work to correct it because it's, like I said, it's just going to mess up all sorts of things. Your posture, like your shoulders are going to be forward, and then when you bench, you're going to be benching like that. All sorts of shit's going to go wrong. So yeah, fix your posture, boys and ladies, people, lady boys if they're out there. Alrighty, I'm going to do two more sets, but this is kind of boring, so I'm not going to record it. Um, that's just the shoulder workout I decided to do. Hope you liked it. Hope you liked the tips I got. Hope you managed to endure my music. Most people don't like it. Um, if you like the video, like it. Comment a question, a video you want to see. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hoping to get to a thousand soon. Hopefully I can keep these uploads going. Speaking of which, I'll probably have a leg workout on Saturday up, Saturday, Sunday, because I'm going to World's Gym and I want to record there. Fucking beautiful gym. I've heard great things about it. But yeah, that's... I've got to do these sets and stop fucking around. Thanks for watching. See you next video.